Now let's talk about theming in your design system. How much theming should be allowed? Are you going to give your developers that they can change your typeface styles or they can totally change the typeface? For example, if you have used uh, Roboto and they want to use uh, Open Sans, would you allow that? So these are the questions, whether you are going to just have black or dark uh, to white theme where we have light and dark themes and you just want them to change the colors for example from darker background to a lighter background light theme or dark theme or maybe you want to use uh, a totally different theme that is autumn theme or spring theme that is up to you so uh, different designs or different projects they have different requirements so in this video we are going to discuss how much theming should be allowed and what are different things you should be uh, taking care of when you are going to give them a lot of design independency so the first thing is that uh, dark versus light this is actually just the change of color so this is the level where most of the designs are going to be i think 70 to 80 percent are going to be over here so we just need two different themes everything else will be same spacing will be same line height will be same text uh, style or font face or typeface is actually going to be same now the next is for example, if you have a system where uh, it is going to be used on Windows, Mac OS, uh, Android, iOS. So on different systems, there are some specifications or some things or system uh, settings that you cannot change. Or so you have to adopt uh, to that. So to do that or to do, uh, to create this whole theme, you might have to change your original design a little bit. Okay, so you have to keep that in mind sometimes your uh, design customization might not work on windows so you have to change that okay now the next level is content structure or style so whether you are just going to uh, change the styling of your uh, colors or your typefaces or you want to change the structure for example the title is above or maybe you in the next design it is at the bottom of the image that is a very big change so make sure you have to you know be very specific i i think you should not go for too much change maybe users are going uh, users are mostly you know familiar with the similar design patterns so don't try to switch uh, a lot between structure and content content could be changed for example if we have um, maybe an email or we have an instagram template so maybe they are going to follow the same uh, tokens design tokens or same design structure but the styling will be totally different that is that can happen so um, here is an example on the left you can see we have two different uh, color colors where we have uh, two different themes light and dark uh, where actually the typeface is actually changed it is both built with uh, material design guidelines but you can see they are not using material design uh, specific typefaces for example Roboto or something like that they are using their own style so uh, this is one thing on the right you can see we have again uh, the same thing going on over here but standardized fonts dark and um, light themes now let's see some more variations over here so you can see here we have uh, uh, color variations versus, versus text spacing and coloration spacing is actually going to change so if you try to change your typeface for example you try to use a sans serif uh, you were using a sans serif and you started to switch between a serif typeface line heights are going to change uh, typefaces are totally different their line heights their letter sizes are totally different so you have to take care that your whole spacing system is going to be adjusted so once you change your uh, typeface the whole spacing system your line heights they should be adjusted that is what you have to consider in your um, theming because if you give your developers or your design team a lot of independence that they can use and change anything that is going to be a mess and you have to uh, you know be worried about it so that is all about theming and what should be theming in your design system I will meet you soon in another lesson and the next section we are going to start designing a basic design system. 
and we will use it to create an app or something similar. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.